okay just off of the back of the evalu evaluation of the four game challenges we we'll see if we can put it into play and uh, the findings if any of the circumstances occur where we tend to keep making those slight tiniest of errors see if we can um, iron it out let's bring the bishop here supporting the pawn see if we can find in the game when there's an issue smaller piece attack and higher piece i'm a fan of that we could look to exchange the bishop off don't think they're going to take but let's attack the bishop oh they have done let's take with the knight doubly supporting the pawn this pawn is going to be attached to the b pawn so should we do something about it this pawn is doubly protected so we don't need to rush to castle so shall we just bring this pawn here because we know it's going to get attacked okay so let's castle bishop's probably going to hunt to try and come here let's go in the other way shall we just bring our rook keeping it all simple straightforward nothing fancy constantly searching for where i may do the erroneous move smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong and again we could attack the bishop does send it here we do have three pieces protecting so that's not too much of an issue we don't really want this x-ray on the queen they could do like a take take to open up in front of our king but i think our queen has got enough speed to protect so i'm going to attack the bishop again excellent so there is touching onto the knight but the pawn will be by itself we could push this pawn to try and squeeze the bishop kind of forcing them into a little bit of a den for the bishop so i'm actually going to open up the king area a bit more conscious probably looking to swing the queen across here So they obviously bring the uh, pawn down because the bishop will be trapped otherwise. And they've gone big. So in the findings of the last evaluations, we said when the pawn touches the pawn, usually better to just take. But in this situation, he's got like a few pieces protecting that area. If we did take, he's got options, bishop can take. It's going to be a little bit of pressure here. <clears throat> but we do have two pieces protecting. Or we could just push the pawn onto the knight. The knight no longer coming here. So it has to find a new home somewhere else. I think that's more of a disturbance. So we're going to push the pawn further up onto the knight. So it's either going here. Yep. Yeah, or there. But it's gone there. Right. So there's going to be pressure heading towards the head of our snake. So we could look to support and push. Do we bring the queen across and then across now or do we delay it? Is there a better move? This pawn does, well, it has a protection so I was thinking of bringing the knight here and attacking. But there's no point doing that. Anything else? I think just a gentle support here and it does give a bit of space for the knight to manoeuvre. To here, to here. So I'm going to push the pawn. Looking maybe to get the knight here, to get it to here, to attack this pawn. Also attacking this space if the pawn does move. But there's no support for the knight, so maybe we don't get too carried away. So like we said, head of the snake is going to be hit. I don't think they're going to deliberate over that. Uh, either way, it's uh, come down. We can do on pass home and that elevates their knight or elevates the queen we can take bishop takes bishop takes so we actually win a pawn out of that but they may do like a if we take then the rook takes with a check queen takes and can the queen come and support somehow doesn't look that way so i think taking the pawn in this instance should be okay 
yes they have done exactly what we just said there so going to go here is he trying to bring the queen to support the pawn or something but the bishop will get taken so i don't think there's a tempo win based on my quick calculation of that maneuver i might be totally surprised because it was a quick calculation so they're thinking about it I'm probably thinking well can i attack the bishop oh maybe not so they've moved the bishop out of the way we could elevate the pawn even more attacking the bishop squishing it in so it has to go there it can't well it could come here i suppose that might be a nice space for it actually then we attack it so there's lots of things don't think this is interesting because it just takes takes i think we just keep squishing the bishop and then bring the bishop here attacking the bishop again so we've highly elevated the pawn which could cause their king problems fingers crossed if the big guns come off the board looks like they're going to save the queen though so bishops coming here we go here doesn't have to take of course it could bring his queen here x-ray through to the queen but we can still just take oh Okay, they've gone far into the corner. Didn't even, didn't really expect that. Our queen can come and put a check on their king, and they have to go here. They can't go here because of our pawn. So it's a bit of a disturbance. I don't think there's a trap. So I'm just going to put a check here. Oh, he could come here. I could go there. I could go. There. We don't have a dark square bishop, and we do have the knight, but this is no good. And we said, oh, it was going to be too long though. Going here to go here to attack the pawn. But can the knight come here and do this or something? Okay, let's um, see if we can squeeze in here. Don't forget they've got their own knight, which is going to be attacking two pieces. It's going to be attacking the queen and the bishop. where does the queen go you can always come back again it's going for queen exchange uh, spoiling the party so we take the knight gets activated we don't take and the pawn takes on the knight knight can swing around and attack the bishop and the pawn could bring the rook here defending the queen so very clever though he's attacking our rook as well so if we just bring the rook here then we're defending the queen then obviously i don't think he's going to take with the queen bishop's not coming here knight comes here and attacks the queen but then we get the queen but then the pawn takes i think we're just playing it safe and steady not going to do anything crazy Based off evaluation, just we feel like our pieces are doing a half decent job. We're the pieces as a team, trying to see the blind spots, block off the blind spots. What can the opponent do? They do actually capture, so this is the quid pro quo. Do we take with the rook? Take with the rook. Mm -hmm. Take with the pawn, it undoubles the pawns and it elevates the pawn further up. It's more chance of getting promoted. The knight moves and attacks the pawn. We push onto the knight. Knight comes here. So it's a very highly elevated pawn. So I'm going to take with the pawn. This pawn doesn't have any protection until this, but then our bishop is just like defending all the pawns. But maybe that's their duty at this moment so then we're looking maybe to try and sneak in here put a check on the king bishop takes and then highly elevated supported pawn so where is the knight going to it can come here un uncontested it can come here uncontested I'm going to continue with the knight move here for a potential check on the king or just an annoying position, maybe.
Oh, time's running out. Crikey. Wow, I'm only on 50 seconds. How did that happen? Oh, man. Oh, I didn't realise. I didn't... Oh, he's going to get this and this and this and this and this and nice protecting. Oh, I totally messed it up. I've lost my chain of thought because of that noise. I didn't realise I was that low on time. I had long play thinking going on. Oh. That's the game gone. Uh, it's not taken the night. Not taken the night. Let's move the night. Supporting the pawn, but there's, we're not getting anywhere. <laughs> we're not getting anywhere. Oh, I think I was glorified on the position, but it's not really anything meaty. And oh, he's landed on the pawn. Let's get a queen. A stroke of luck. A stroke of luck. And they've resigned. Nice one. Fifteen three. See what practice we can get in this game. Let's uh, push in the centre, tuck in the palm. Let's take the palm. <clears throat> Let's develop the bishop, tuck in the knight. Take the bishop. Oh, for free. Okay. It's playing a 30 minute game. Just off of the back of the evaluation of the four game challenges. This opponent's moving very speedily. Let's just bring this to stop the fried. Okay. Let's take the knight. And now they're giving up pieces because they've made a bit of an error. Okay, and let's take the queen off the board. Pretty short game this. And let's take the pawn. And take the bishop. Take the rook. And shall we just put a simple check on the king? interesting situation developing and i don't think there's much else for us to do let's just bring the knight out let's attack the rook take the rook take the pawn oh do you know what let's push onto this pawn take the knight You get games like these sometimes, I don't know. <clears throat> it's very odd. And <clears throat> looks like they're just going to let the time run out now. Okay, we'll give that one up. Ten and three. Let's attack the pawn. Attack the pawn in the center. Let's take. Let's take the queen. Take the pawn. We have a situation. Let's attack the bishop. Support the pawn. Nice. 
knight's got no protection let's take the bishop off the board isolating the pawn attack unprotected pawn looking for a juicy position here with a fork Okay, so it looks like we're going to get the rook off the board. Let's take. Might not necessarily be for free if we can't get back here. And let's keep moving. Let's take the bishop. So we attack the knight. Try and... Oh, and they've resigned. Fifteen ten. Last game for today. It's been an odd mix of games I've played today. Very strange and some strong games. Doesn't look like this play is starting. Okay, let's um, find something else. Wouldn't mind it's their sake. Fifteen. Oh no, no. Not doing any fast ones. Go for a ten and oh. Let's attack the palm. And in the centre. Scrap. Scrap. Support the pawn. Castle. Attack the bishop. Take the bishop. Develop the knight. I'm going to attack the bishop. Can you see the error in that move? Yeah, because if they had taken, we would take, then the knight would have got the pawn for free. It might still be the case, but we'll take the bishop off the board, get the rook here, and I think we've just saved it. So, move order, again, that's one of the things that came out in the evaluation quite frequently. And it's too arty in the brain. Alright, so his rook's x-raying through to ours, so we can look to get the queen off of the line first, I think. Yeah, this pawn doesn't have any protection, so if we give them something to think about, they might push, but then we can take the knight. And if they don't, we can... Let's push. Our knight is not protected, but we're hoping that maybe... Oh no, we can't. Because if the pawn takes, then the queen is protecting the pawn. But it hasn't done that. Wow, how many times are we getting away from um, messing up? Let's take, and the rook is on the queen. Oh, let's take the queen. So finally, we've got a bit lucky. Twice we did move orders wrong in the game. And they're still playing on, so it doesn't mean we've won. So let's attack their rook with this smaller piece. They're still playing on. Okay. What am I missing? Rooks are going to be attacking our queen, maybe. Let's just bring the rook here. X-raying through to the pawn. Still got the diagonal with the queen attacking this pawn. Now it can come and get one of the... Well, hey, they have done as well. All right, so let's do this. Let's take this. And if the knight takes this, we get the knight off the ball for free. But I'm assuming they're going to take this one. All 
How have they not taken any of them? When did they get so smart? Let's go with taking the pawn, put the knight supporting. So we're attacking the rook. Oh! There's a back ranker. No, there isn't. So we're going for it. Can't even take because the knight is still there. And now he's looking for the back ranker. So we've given them ideal position. So what can we do about it? It's a back ranker. We've got a queen, so it's like a rook versus a queen. So we could give space for the king, could move the king. Could move the king. There's no checks on their king. I suppose we could go like this and x-ray through. Also attacking their knight. That might work, might it? Not. We go there. King moves off of the line or wherever. Moves off the line. Getting too fancy, dude. Getting too fancy. Hmm. Come here. Protecting the knight. King can't go here. It goes there and we still get the check off. It goes here. Or here. I think probably better here because then we're not going to get a check on him. Up here. It goes onto a dart square. Put a check on. All right, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. Make fret coming on soon. Now it's just going to take a pawn. They have gone there, so we can go here. Gets the check. Then he goes to safety. We are on a dart square. Dun, 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 dun. So there's no more. Oh, there is a check. We get the rook off the board. We get the rook off the board. If he goes there. Probably thinking going back again to the same position. But then we can just go like this and checkmate. So if he goes in the corner. Again we get the rook off the board. Phew. And so it's gone to this square. Did we cover that one? Not really, but we can touch the king. And then he goes in the corner. And that's it, isn't it? Damn. There's no proper checker, checky checks. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Put the check. Put the check. Where does the knight go? Uh, damn, didn't spot that one, did we? Put the check anyway. Attack the rook. And defend the knight. So I know definitely this type of movement has come from the recent evaluation of the games especially with the queen type ending situation i'm going to put a check on the king so it's just trying to find support for the queen every time so check he comes here there must be something else can move a bit more let's put the check on there has to be something. Yeah, we we'll get the rook, get the knight, don't we? Okay, let's go for the knight. Probably not for free because the king's going to be. No, actually, yeah, but I think it's for free. With a check. Oh, 
Beautiful.